Let's see what that's about. Hello? Oi! Never mind, this is something different. Excuse me, man in suit. You have a minute. Oh. Who are you? My name is Il Il Yujin. I'm the very famous Korean pop singer. Well, I'm afraid I don't know you. This is my first time in Japan. A whirlwind dirt tour. You're famous? I don't think I've heard of you. What? Well, it all... Well, it all right. I'm here to explore Kamurocho. My friends say it's a very interesting place. If you show me Kamurocho, I give you lots of money. I guess showing this guy around wouldn't be so bad if there's a reward. Alright, I can be your tour guide. Oh! Ah! Gomab Sobnida. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means. You kinder than you look. What's your name, man in suit? It's Kiryu. Kiryu-san! Thank you, Kiryu-san. I cover everything, don't worry. Oh, and I have warning for you. Mm. What is it? I'm very famous. Women always want to autograph. But I like peaceful life, not annoying fans. Please keep me away from women. I didn't realize being famous was such a burden. Anyway, is there anywhere in particular you want to go? Hi! You know place I can watch sexy movie in small room? <laughs> I want to go there. <laughs> um... Japanese movie is very sexy. But hotel selection, not so good. Alright, I know a place. You so smart, Kiyu-san. We go now. Oh my god, what is this? Guide Il Yujin. While taking him on tour, you cannot do the following. Talk with the people of Kamurocho, use stores, use taxis, enter buildings, battle on the streets, or save. The tour will end if Yujin gets caught up three times with his many admirers while strolling around town, so guide him carefully. You can stop the tour whenever you want. Okay. Is he actually... Okay, he is actually with me. Where does he want to go? Uh... Wait, like literally just here? I think it's literally just here, right? Am I crazy? Is it... That wasn't there before, right? It has to be that, I think. I mean, there's a bunch of women blocking the way here, but, like, does that just count as one time and I can just... Ah, oh, shit. Well, fuck. I was wondering if I could just, like, barge through and that would count as one time, but then I could just, like, keep going. Huh. Where's it put me, then? Wait, it's put me all the way over here? And yeah, What?! I'm sorry. It wants me to go, instead of from there to there, it wants me to go from here to there? Are you fucking insane? I mean, I guess we'll give it another try. It's only three and then you get kicked out, right? So, whatever. I'm not going to redo it. It's probably not going to, it's probably not going to go well and then we will uh, fail. And that's fine. I'm definitely not arsed enough to try this multiple times. I guess we should stick to the back streets. So, yeah, if we fail, then we fail, and that's it. Off to the three. Are these people... gonna, like, come for me? I, th I don't know if they're gonna come for me if I try and run past. Okay, no, we're fine. We can't go left, by the looks of it. And then the top of that road's blocked, so we have to go up this road. I didn't realise it would, uh, yeah, kick you out. I thought it would just be like he gets staggered or something, but then you can just keep going kind of thing. Okay, I guess that's good enough. Oh, we finally here! Ah! <laughs> Bro, 
We go in now. Yeah. Uh, you're supposed to go in alone. I'll just wait in a cafe until you're done. What? But I'm not sure how to use it. Please, Kiyu-san. You not need to be embarrassed. Boy. Hey, hold on. <clears throat> oh! Mm, so amazing! <gasps> wow! <laughs> Does he have to be so loud? <laughs> Thank you, Kiyu-san. I now understand. <laughs> Bro. Bro. Well, I'm glad at least one of us came out happy. <laughs> Next, take me to place with pretty men. Nanny. Nanny. I want girly men in makeup. Hmm. You mean an Okama bar? I guess Earth Angel would fit the bill. Ah, angels! Take me! We go now! Oh! Champion District, right, yes. We're not that far from the Champion District, are we? No, it's literally right there, but... We'll have to go down and around and up and right and up and left and down, I guess. Ah, so this is Glorious Angel of Earth. Hurry, Kiyu-san. We go in now. Um. You so pretty, Midori-chan. This is like paradise for me. Oh, you flatterer, you. You're not so bad yourself, big boy. I could just eat you up. Om nom nom. <laughs> um. Oh, someone's being a regular Mr. Mopey over there. Don't worry, there's plenty of me to go around. <sighs> Give me a break. <laughs> what is this quest, dude? Ah, that's so good, Kiyu-san. Thank you. Glad you enjoyed yourself. Are you done yet? One more. I want ramen. Very thick ramen. You take me there? Sure. I know a great place on Senryo Avenue. Let's head over there. Ooh. Kiyu-san, you like God of Kamurocho. So many knowledge. So many knowledge indeed. All of the knowledges. Um, right. Senryo is down here. Rock down to Senryo Avenue. Motherfucker. So I can't go down either of those ways. Oh, man. They're really making this a pain in the ass, huh? So I've got to go up here. I've got to go around. I've got to go over here, down, and then along here. What a pain in the dick! Okay. Out here, right, up, left, left, down. And then I'll open the map again. Figure it out from there. You. Get our big time zoomies on. Okay, so it's not this one, it's the next one over. And then it's down, first left. Left, left, right, right, left, left. Left. Oh, wait. Am I crazy? These girls weren't here a second ago, were they? I swear they weren't. Did they just move? Because I can't go that way now. I also can't go that way because they're there. So I guess we now have to go down to the bottom of the street and go left and up. I feel like I'm losing my mind. They definitely weren't there a second ago, were they? Oh, 
Okay. We did it. Here we are. Ah, so this Japanese ramen shop. It's so dirty. I love dirt. We go in now. Large bowl, please. And please keep your fingers out the soup. Oh. Excuse me? How dare... Wait, I recognise you. You're the illusion guy. If you give me an autograph, I'll toss in some extra noodles for you. My name Il Yu Jin. And yes, I give autograph. He really is famous. Well, how was it? Tastes so good. I had great time today, Kiyu-san. Here, this is a present for you. 300 grand. I'll take it. Ooh. Oh no, I give you more, but I think girls took it when they grabbed me. <laughs> ah, shit. So it would have been like 500 if I didn't get caught once, I guess. Japanese fans so annoying, I give up. Before I meet you, Japanese fans all over me. But because of you, Kiyu-san, I have fun. Thank you. If you come to Korea, I show you all best places. Many sexy videos, many girly men. Uh. I might just take you up on that. Though I think I'd rather stick to the traditional tourist spots. Well, goodbye, Kiyu-san. We must meet again. See you around, Ill. Hurry. Ah, there he is! It's Ill Summer! <laughs> Take me now, Ill Summer! Marry me, Ill Summer! I'll change my name for you! Let's get him! What? <clears throat> no! So strong! Boy. I'll hold them off. You get to a taxi. Kiyu-san, thank you! Get you squaring up to fucking beat the shit out of them. <laughs> no, he's getting away. How's he gonna marry me now? Hey, this guy's not so bad himself. Maybe I've found myself a new man. If this is what fame is, I don't want it. Life as a star is tougher than I thought. What a fucking strange quest. What a fucking strange quest. Alrighty. Uh, okay, let's head over here, maybe? See what's going on there. So, down here, right, left. This way. I should have gone. Okay, that's fine. Straight down here and then right. Howdy. Oh, it's Date. Hi. So you're telling me I just need this box and I'll be on the net? Yes, sir. Connect a cable to the modem and you'll be ready to go. Mm -hmm. Connect to what? The modem, sir. That's what this box is called. Just plug your phone line into it and voila, the World Wide Web. I don't think I get it. Welcome to the modern age. Oi. Date-san, what's going on? Oh, oh hey, Kiyu. Saya's been on my back about getting better internet in the house forever. She's always got to have the latest and greatest, you know? Kids these days. I was going to head to the electronics store, but this guy here says he's selling what I need. Figured I'd hear him out. <laughs> always trying to be a good dad, huh? Saya doesn't know how good she has it. Ah, would you like a modem too, sir? We're handing them out in a free promotion right now. A what? <laughs> Why don't you lend this guy an ear too, Kiryu? I can't understand a word of this techno babble myself, but together I'm sure we can get through it. Okay, I'll stick around for a bit. Thanks, Kiryu. Glad to hear it, sir. Let me start the explanation over. I'm a representative from Happy Net Online, and right now we're in the middle of a free modem pro promotion. Free? That's generous of you. Isn't it? Saves me a trip to the store, that's for damn sure. As for speed, we offer a blazing 33.6 kilobytes per second. There isn't a faster provider out there. Man, can you imagine? Can you imagine? 
back when it was 33 kilobytes per second. Wild. Wild. Kilo what? Is that like kilometers per hour? Very close, sir. KPBS, KBPS, represents the amount of data sent in a single second. Nani? Nani. Good one, Kiryu. <laughs> Heh, sounds like I'm still more with it than you, Date-san. Now then, 33.6 is equivalent to 33,600 bits per second. Nani? Nani, 33,600? That's a lot of bits, Nani. <laughs> Indeed it is, sir. This modem is the most advanced tech we've created yet. Which is why we want the world to try it, all for free. Surely this isn't a scam, somehow. Well, I get that it's good, but I doubt I'd know how to use it once I had it. That's quite alright, sir. Just give us a call, and a happy net employee will come to your house and set up your connection for you. Oh. You guys even have a support line? Date-san, why didn't you just call them? You could have saved yourself this whole trip. Yeah. No, I wanted to handle this. Saya keeps making fun of me for being out of touch, so I wanted to prove I can keep up with the times. That gives me an idea, Kiryu. Why don't you get your connection hooked up first, and then you can tell me how to do it? <sighs> that wouldn't prove anything, though. Look, Saya's killing me these days. Let me look cool for her just this once. Hmm, fine. I guess I can always return it. Alright, I'll take one. Thank you, sir. The modem is free, of course, but I'll just need your number and email so we can set up your contract. Uh. <laughs> All right, here. Thank you again, sir. Sorry about this, Kiryu. Yeah, right. If you were sorry, you'd be the one signing a contract. <laughs> Come on, don't be bitter. A guy's got to impress his daughter once every, every once in a while, right? Speaking of, I should get home. Let me know when you get that thing set up, okay? Will do. See you around, Date-san. Okay, wait for Happy Net Online to call. Are they going to call, like, immediately if I take two steps down the road? Yup. Hello? Greetings, sir, and thank you for signing up for Happy Net Services. This is Tanabe calling about the modem you needed set up. Oh. Wow, you guys are on the ball. Thank you for saying so, sir. Now, we understand you'd like a technician to install your modem. Yeah, I don't know much about this stuff. Wonderful, sir. As thanks for your joining our network, we'll give you this initial setup for only 50,000 yen. Mm. Huh? I thought this was all supposed to be free. I'm afraid nothing in life is free, sir. But it's a great deal. This service is normally 200,000 yen. So 50k is a steal. That said, there's also an equipment fee of 15,000 yen for annual maintenance, cables and rental. May I get your credit card, sir? Hold on. Your salesman never mentioned anything about all these fees. Of course not, sir. All that information is in the contract. You expected people to actually read the fine print? That's not where you should bury information about fees. <sighs> That's just business, sir. The moment you signed your name, your contract took legal binding effect. If this is your business, it's a bad one. Sorry, but I think I need to reconsider this contract. Very well, sir. In that case, the cancellation fee would come to 500,000 yen. <sighs> I'm hanging up now. <laughs> Are they gonna send fucking goons after me now? Is everything about modern technology one big scam? Yes. Wait and see what happens. Surely everything will be fine. Surely. Surely. Okay, well, there's another one down there while we wait. One that we're already in the middle of, by the looks of it. Yeah, the sub-stories in this game are so, so much better than in Kiwami 1. It's crazy. Zeros were good, obviously, but, uh... Yeah, these are great as well. Time to go see what's in that locker. Sure. I don't remember whose shit I was picking up there. <laughs> Who gave me a... Oh, it was the text dude, right? Yeah.
got him. What he said. Hmm. An email. Hello again, sir. This is Tanabe from HappyNet Online. Have you come to a conclusion regarding your modem contract? Damn, I forgot I gave them my email. Guess this isn't over as I'd hoped. A green box. is in the green box. A mysterious green box found in a coin locker. Right. Do I want to change my equipment at all? What have I got? What's this? This is defense plus 24 with 18 blade resist. What about this? Defense plus 20 with a bit of attack and only 14 blade resist. Eh. Who cares? Uh, what now? Uh, got your hands on the box. Now take it over to the guy in the suit behind Shine. He really doesn't have the right tone for this kind of job. I'm the one who got myself into this, though. Guess I'll find this guy in a suit behind Shine. Hmm, an email. <laughs> what do you wish to do about your contract, sir? Please be advised, there will be quite a large cancellation fee if you opt out. The language they're using is getting more and more suspicious. Gee, could it be a scam? Surely not. Surely not. Right, shines over here, right? Another email. We will contact you again soon with further details. They're not going to leave me alone while I have their stupid modem. Guess I have no choice but to solve this in person. <laughs> Greetings, sir. This is Tanabe from HappyNet Online regarding the contract you signed earlier. Go on. If you can spare us a few moments of your time today, we would love for you to come and ask your questions in person. Mm. Sure, I can do that. That way I can give you back your damn modem. We look forward to your arrival, sir. We're located in the same building as Lullaby Mahjong on the third floor. I know where that is. I'll see you soon. Wonderful, sir. I... Oh, wait, am I in... I'm in totally the wrong place. Okay, well, there's the Mahjong place. Where was Shine? I thought Shine was here. Am I... Wait, Shine down here? What? Am I thinking of the wrong... I guess I'm thinking of the wrong place. Oh, I'm thinking of Stardust. Do... Do, 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 do. Okay, well, I mean, we're literally right here, so let's do this while we're here, I guess. It all worked out. It all worked out. Wow. 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 Uh, how do we get anywhere? What? <laughs> Where, how do you get up? I can't go through the door. How do I get to the third floor? Hello? Do so I have to go in and... I mean, it's, it's not this, is it? Maybe it is. Sure, I guess it is. Hello there, sir. How can we help you today? 
The name's Kiryu. I'm here to talk about my modem contract. Ah oh, yes, Kiryu-san. It's me, Tanabe. We spoke on the phone, remember? Please, right this way. Looking very sussy there. So in total, that comes out to 15,000 yen a month with a 5,000 yen service fee for any additional support you require. That's more expensive than I care to pay. I don't plan on using the internet much, so paying that much for your service doesn't make sense to me. Ah, so you wish to cancel your contract. May I remind you, sir, the cancellation fee is 500,000 yen. Nanny. It's not a contract if I never agreed to it. Mm -hmm. Kiyu-san, you signed it yourself. A signature is a form of agreement. Maybe it is, but not when your guys trick people into signing it. You're scamming people. Mm -hmm. Outrageous! You signed it of your own volition. You asked for lower than agreed upon rates, and now you have the gall to claim we're scamming you? Yeah, I do. And I'm not afraid to back that claim up. See, I know a guy on the police force. What do you say I call him in and see whose side he takes? Mm. Hmm, that could be an issue. But I'm afraid that isn't going to intimidate us. So it's high time we did some intimidation of our own. You've got to be kidding me. Ill-natured men. Bitch. Oh, I thought he was. Uh, I thought he was still in the fight. <laughs> Bro was not still in the fight. Damn it! What the hell are you? Just an honest customer looking for an honest deal. Your scamming days are over. The police are going to shut this down. Hey, let's not be hasty now. We can change, man. <sighs> we'll never do it again. Promise. Surely. Hello? Hey, Kiyu. Wanted to talk about that internet business from earlier. Yeah, about that. Don't worry about it, Kiyu. I've got it all figured oh. out. Huh? Saya got so insistent, I finally took her down to the electronics store and just let her pick out a modem. Oh. Fastest speed around, 3.1 mega somethings per second. Impressive, right? And check it out, only 5,000 a month. Oh, and one of the employees said that that guy giving out modems on the street was probably a scammer. Good thing we didn't get tied up with that, right? <laughs> I'm done doing Date-san favors for a while. Amazing. That's right, fuck Date-san. All my homies hate Date-san. <laughs> Yoink. A peerless tile. What was a peerless tile again? A mysterious tile that lets you draw 13 orphans. Whatever the fuck that means. Two out of 99. There can't. There cannot be 99 of these things around. And we've only found two. That is not possible. Anything to find higher up? Oh, this is the Mahjong place, I guess. Fuck that shit. Ding dong. Fuck that shit I'm out. Bow, 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 bow. Okay, so uh I guess let's head over here. Man, we're actually clearing out a lot of the fucking quests, huh? we got the Mahjong one, which is never getting done. And we got this one we're about to do. And then all this bottom two-thirds of the map, there's not a single other quest left to do here by the looks of it. And then up here, we've got the Majima stuff, which we're not going to do. We'll do the we'll do the Majima, like, uh, whatever it's called. The main menu Majima thing we'll do at the end of the game, but we're not doing the, the RTS-ish game thing. Aside from that, we've got one here and one here. And then we're almost cleaned out by the looks of it. So that's good. Um, right, so if I go up and right and go straight across by the looks of it, we 
may have to fight a group of dudes down here. Or maybe they've got out the way. Nice. Hello. I'm apparently supposed to give you this. So, you're working for him? Uh. I guess you could say that. Okay, I'll transfer the money right away. I should know better than to ask, but what exactly is in this box? Yeah, you should know better. It's none of your business. So see you later. Alright, fuck me I guess. <laughs> Uh, go to Camero Theatre and find the guy with the hair and ask him how many bells he needs. Well, at least the end of this madness is finally in sight. I should head to the theatre and get this over with. All the way up there, okay. Okie dokie. Meow. Was it? No, oh, there. No, not there. Down here. Mm -hmm. The guy with the hair. <laughs> he has normal hair. What the fuck? Uh, how many bells do you need? Oi. You say your prayers, you son of a bitch. <laughs> what? <laughs> What the fuck is going on, dude? What did you attack me for? <laughs> Some guy named Massa. He mailed me about a job. All it said was to beat the crap out of a guy in a suit who asked how many bells I needed. Looks like we've been tricked. Nani? Tricked? The hell you mean by that? I'm here on a job from Massa too. He said you'd pay me if I asked about the bells. I don't got any cash for you, though. Likewise. I don't think he planned on paying either of us. He probably told you to attack me so I'd stay quiet. Best case, he'd get a double takedown. <laughs> that two-timing piece of shit. Guess there's no cash at the end of this string after all. But he must have known one of us would win. And he would have needed us both silenced. In other words, he's probably nearby hoping to finish off the winner. Oh. Stop right there. Get back here, dickhead. Nice dead end, mate. You're cornered now, Massa. It's time you started answering some questions. <clears throat> damn, damn, damn. Why didn't you just die like you were supposed to? Now I've got to finish this myself. Sure thing, buddy. <laughs> Bro went flying. <laughs> Bro went flying. <clears throat> Ugh, how? How are you so strong? I get to ask the questions here. First, what was the point of all that? What was in that box? What's in the box? Boy. If you won't talk, I can always beat the answers out of you. Eep! Please, I've had enough. There was a high-powered surveillance camera. Mm -hmm. A what? It's a device you can use to monitor people without them knowing. That's how I tracked you. I'm kind of an expert. 
It was just a job that I didn't want to take personally, so I set you up to do it in my stead. You know, in case it went south, I'll pay you however much you want. Just let me go. 150 grand? That's how much I want? Motherfucker, give me a million. <sighs> Don't you ever pull people into your messes again. Now get lost. I'm so sorry. I knew this was going to be fishy. Get away? What? It's still not over? Uh, sorry for all the fuss. How about you and me team up? What? I'm blocking this creep. <laughs> now that is a good way to end that sub story. Fucking block a motherfucker. Love it. Love it. All right. Ah, oh, fuck me. No, go away. Go away. I was going to wrap up. I was going to wrap up. You're not allowed to chase me when I'm about to wrap up. That's illegal. It's against the Geneva Convention, in fact. Get away from me. Get away from me. Okay, they're probably done chasing me now, right? Surely? Surely? Yeah, it sounds like it. Okay. I think that is where we will leave it for today. Uh, let's just head over to Serena. And we will end off just outside there. And uh, it'll be main story time when we come back. Oh, fuck me. There's more guys. Okay, I guess I have to fight these ones. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Bro. Really? You brought a gun, motherfucker? Bitch, slap him to the floor. That's what I thought, mate. That is what I thought. Yeah, so, uh... Wait, can I go down here? Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, this is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the place. Good, <laughs> good, good, good. I was confused by the fucking blockage over the entrance, but... We can smash through that shit. Alright, that is where we'll leave it then. When we return, it is back to main story time. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty pleased with how many sub-stories we're getting done. We have done 38 out of 76. Wait, is that exactly half? That's exactly half, right? Yeah, nice. Nice. Exactly half of them. <laughs> the baby one was number one. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Cool. Cool. Love to see it. Right. Yes. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Yakuza Kiwami 2. Thanks for watching. See you then.